Moringa is a plant native to India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan, often referred to as the drumstick tree. While it's been used traditionally as an antiseptic and astringent applied to the skin for various conditions, it's also earned the nickname Miracle Tree. But does it really live up to that name? With so much misinformation out there, it's important to understand what Moringa can actually do. Let's dive into human clinical studies to explore the real health benefits you can expect from taking Moringa. Moringa is often touted for its benefits in managing diabetes, but the actual research in humans tells a different story. Most studies show little to no effect on blood glucose levels when Moringa is taken alone. For example, in a small clinical study involving patients with type 2 diabetes, taking 8 grams of Moringa leaf powder daily for 4 weeks did not improve blood sugar levels compared to a placebo. Even increasing the dose to 60 grams per day showed no benefits. The few small studies that have found positive results combine Moringa with other treatments. In one study, 8 grams of moringa leaf powder were paired with 6 grams of neem, another traditional remedy, and showed some minor benefits for blood glucose. Another study combined 20 grams of moringa with a calorie restricted diet and observed small benefits. However, given that these studies used moringa alongside other interventions, and that other studies that used moringa by itself showed no real benefits, it's likely that moringa alone has little to no no effect on blood sugar levels or HbA1c in people with diabetes. Moringa is sometimes promoted for lowering cholesterol, but the actual human evidence doesn't support this claim very well. In one clinical study involving patients with high cholesterol, taking 2 grams of moringa powder alongside the statin medication atorvastatin for 45 days led to a slight improvement in lipid levels compared to taking the statin alone. However, when moringa was used on its own at 4.7 grams daily, it only slightly lowered total cholesterol and had no significant impact on other lipid levels. Even at doses as high as 60 grams per day, moringa only showed small marginal improvements in triglyceride levels. Overall, the clinical data suggests that moringa might have a minor effect on lipid levels when combined with statin therapy, but it likely has little to no meaningful impact on cholesterol or other lipids when used by itself. Moringa is often claimed to aid in weight loss, but the clinical evidence doesn't back this up. In one small study, a combination product containing moringa leaf extract didn't lead to weight loss when compared to a placebo. In fact, the placebo group actually lost slightly more weight than those taking the moringa product. However, since this was a combination product, it's unclear if Moringa itself contributed to the slight weight gain. Regardless, Moringa hasn't demonstrated any weight loss effects in humans. Moringa has been studied for its potential benefits in asthma. A small clinical study in asthma patients suggests that taking 3 grams of powdered dried Moringa seed daily for 3 weeks may reduce the severity of asthma symptoms. However, since the study didn't include a placebo group, it's hard to say if the results are reliable. Also, unlike most other clinical trials that use Moringa leaf powder, this study used Moringa seed powder. Moringa has also been explored for its effects on menopause. A small clinical study in postmenopausal women found that taking 7 grams of powdered moringa leaves daily for 3 months slightly improved menopausal symptoms like hot flashes and sleep problems. However, because the study combined moringa with amaranth, it's unclear whether the benefits came from the moringa alone. Moringa has been studied for its impact on lactation as well. A meta-analysis of several small clinical trials in breastfeeding women shows that taking Moringa leaf can increase breast milk production. However, this boost in milk supply didn't seem to result in increased weight or length in the breastfed infants. The studies used here used specific Moringa leaf extracts such as Natalac and Prolacta rather than the raw Moringa leaf like most other clinical trials. With so much conflicting clinical data, you might wonder if Moringa has proven benefits for any medical conditions. 
According to research, Moringa seems to have the strongest evidence for two main benefits, lowering cholesterol levels and improving milk production in breastfeeding mothers. However, the impact in both cases appears to be small and likely won't make a practical difference. Its effect on cholesterol is marginal at best, and its influence on breastfeeding is too little to significantly affect infant weight. Other studies suggest that Moringa probably has little to no effect on blood sugar or weight loss, and the research on its benefits for asthma and menopause is too weak to draw any firm conclusions. It's best to think of Moringa as a functional food packed with nutrients rather than a herbal extract with medicinal properties. Moringa leaves are rich in vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, and they retain these nutrients even when dried. This makes Moringa an affordable and nutritious vegetable, especially in areas where food scarcity often leads to malnutrition. In fact, one small study found that supplementing food with powdered dried Moringa leaf helped children with malnutrition gain more weight. While the leaves are the most commonly consumed part and are usually ground into powder for supplements, other parts of the Moringa plant are edible too, like the seeds and the seed oil. The seeds and oil are loaded with antioxidants, vitamins, sterols, and fatty acids. About 76% of the total fatty acid content is oleic acid, the same healthy fat found in olive oil. So Moringa is a highly nutritious plant, similar to other foods like blueberries or oatmeal. Just like you wouldn't expect one blueberry or a pinch of oatmeal to make a big difference in your health, you won't see much benefit from taking a tiny pill of Moringa. To really make a difference, you would need to consume a meaningful portion regularly. A handful of blueberries, a cup of oatmeal, or in the case of Moringa, 2 to 20 grams daily. This is about a teaspoon to almost 2 tablespoons of Moringa leaf powder. That's why most studies use multiple grams of Moringa daily, and using Moringa supplements in pill form are mostly ineffective, as they contain only tiny milligram amounts that don't provide any real benefit. And when it when it comes to lactation, it's the standardized Moringa extract pills like Natalac or Prolacta that have been shown to be effective, not the generic Moringa leaf pills that are most commonly available. In terms of safety, Moringa leaves and seeds are generally safe to use, but you should be cautious with the Moringa root or root bark. Fortunately, these parts of the plant are hard to find in North America. The Moringa root contains spirituin, a potentially toxic alkaloid, while the root bark has stimulant alkaloids similar to ephedrine. Although spirituin hasn't been studied in humans, animal studies show that it can cause nerve paralysis. The Moringa root or root bark are also unsafe to use Used during pregnancy. Overall, Moringa shines as a nutritional food rather than a remedy for its claimed medicinal benefits, which lack any good evidence. To get the most out of Moringa's nutritional value, I recommend using it like a greens or protein powder by adding a scoop to your smoothies. Moringa leaf is nutritionally comparable to some leafy greens like kale or spinach, and many greens powders offer similar benefits. However, Moringa leaf powder actually tends to be more affordable. So, if you can handle its earthy, slightly bitter, and grassy taste, Moringa leaf powder can be a decent cost-effective alternative to many commercial greens powders. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. What are your experiences with Moringa? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date, and share this video with someone you know who can use the info.